That's 5.11 a.m. by the way. Yeah, it's one of those mornings. You're going somewhere. You're gonna go and these trains. <laughs> It's like riding on an airplane. So I am on my way to Sacramento. I'm going to meet up with uh, John, Sid, and Gary. Uh, and we're going on a probably close to 12 hour road trip. I found him. Well, we're starting off. It's a bright sunny morning here in Sacramento. Well, the sun's finally out now, and I guess it's okay to tell you what we're doing now. We're halfway to, well, more than halfway to Sacramento. We're gonna meet up with Gary, and I think Mike, too. We're going to Promontory. Woo! <laughs> it's one of those sort of mecca trips for foamers, I think see where all that golden spike stuff took place so that's what we're doing that's where we're going we're chasing trains I'm sure we'll be on now and again with updates from the road and that traffic jams and zippers zippers and, and traffic jams it's chasing trains it's what we do you, you said my hair looks like a cat's ass I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing just such an interesting comment to make yeah, Mike's already making plans to go to Denny's. <laughs> oh, did you get it's, mis you it's Mr. Denny's. I didn't even suggest that. Gary brought it up. Uh, I was just wondering where we were going to eat because I haven't eaten Gary's anything trying the last to make day. You Gary's trying to make you happy, so he's making the suggestion of he knows what you want. I, I suppose it's fine as long as it's not one of those really awful Denny's that where they don't wash the silverware. It's going to be Denny's inside the casino. That wasn't actually that bad, though. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I'm just hungry. I'm, I'm, I'm on want food. And if get, if Denny's happens to be the place to get it, then that's fine with me. What are you thinking about Denny's there, Gary? I think Denny's is a perfect place. You like Denny's, huh? Love it. You can see, Mike, you've converted him. I didn't do anything. Yeah, now now Gary likes Denny's too. You guys are both Denny's junkies. It's, it's your now. fault for going there for chasing trains in the first place. Yeah, but we had to when we went that first time on. You that didn't have to. You could have just gone to bed without dinner that night. <laughs> that was not an option. Yes, yeah, so anything is an option, John. It's <laughs> your fault that I'm addicted. Mothership came down one day and abducted everyone on the tour bus, and uh, it was a really great time. <laughs> How the hell are you doing that? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we're having a really great time. Chasing trains! So one of the challenges when you're planning a trip like this, especially to a place like Utah or anywhere, probably east of the Sierra mountain range, is that the weather is fairly unpredictable, right. especially the later into the fall that you go. Yeah. So, so we've been checking the weather forecast this whole time, and in the end, you get what you get. So you just have to be pre be prepared for it. 
that's why we have you know umbrellas and brought some extra heavier clothing and stuff because it's going to be colder there than than where we're from so, we're approaching lovelock this is where we were supposed to have plans to eat well, i got bad news for mike i don't see any signs for denny's anywhere all the pizza factories here pizza sounds good you got the phone why don't you check the phone who me well, yeah, somebody. I was I waiting for Mike to check his phone. I don't have one. You don't have a phone? No. You're the only person in the modern world who doesn't have a cell phone. Hey, trust me, I want one. Not actually, you'll find this kind of funny. I don't want the phone for the phone. I want the phone for the camera. Ah. Because all things always happen when I don't have my camera ready and I always miss them. But if I have a phone, it's always going to be in my pocket, so I'll have it ready at, at any given time. So it would just be really convenient. I, th I think that you have actually, believe it or not, good reasoning there. Yeah. Because it's true. Everyone's carrying around a high-definition camera in their pocket these days. Hey, Gary, come over here for a second. Yeah. This guy, Gary, that that's a new Chasing Trains celebrity star. Yeah. Doesn't talk about it, but he worked for SP and that's he said right. that he said that he worked here once. Yes, I did. So what do you remember about it? It was uh, at that time you couldn't go upstairs. The dust was that thick on everything. This was back about 1978 or 79. The only place that you could go in was the main area where the agent had all his paperwork and there was just one agent that worked here. And Are you carding shift. with that? I'm carding with it. Yeah, that was that yeah. was it. So that's yeah, it, huh? And we had a teletype here. We didn't have computer screens or computers. It was a teletype entry into the computer it was in back San Francisco. Yeah, it was back in the old days. Yeah, yeah. So it was done by a teletype. Did you also hunt dinosaurs back then dinosaurs, when you were younger? Yeah, pterodactyls, um, all sorts of pterodactyl coming out of an egg. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> Mike is camera shy. Who's Mike? Who's Mike? Who the hell are you? If you're uh, not, if you're not Mike, <laughs> Grizzly Adams. If the building is important enough to have an air conditioner on it, then somebody must be in there. Yeah. Here's the door. Here. Come on out. We won't hurt you. It didn't work last time. Why would you think it would work this time? Right? <laughs> it's so local. Yep, a little local out there. Doesn't even have two locomotives on it. I'm not shaking the camera. It actually is this bumpy. It's been like this for about five minutes now or so. Where are we, Gary? Uh, we're coming into the well. <laughs> into what? We're coming into well. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. There's the Denny's right there. Mike's going to go to Denny's. He's going to Denny's, right? He wants to go to Denny's anyway. Go to Denny's and do it. Can we do that? Can we just walk in there and sure, use the bathroom? Sure, they don't know that call you're going to... You can call it dumpies. There. I don't think they know. Well, John, get the camera out. We're going to take a <laughs> at Denny's. <laughs> hey, Mike, look over here. Oh, hi. <laughs> did, you, did you get that? <laughs> uh, I, I really have to go. We are still... A little over an hour's drive away from from where our we're destination. going. Destination, yeah. But I cannot wait that long. So Mike's gonna go to Denny's. Mike can run right in. Yes, I need to get okay. out of here. Go for it. Denny's, here I come. Watch this. He waddles no, when he has left. to. He waddles no, when Denny's he has to take to a left. dump, Gary. Look, he's running. <laughs> he's looking a lot happier, isn't he? Definitely happier, more bounce in his step. Hey, how you feeling? Uh, I think I lost a few pounds. You lost a few pounds, huh? Yeah. All right, so we made it to Salt Lake City. 
after dark, but there it is. And this is what Salt Lake City looks like on a Friday night. Woo! Okay, I've seen that. Yeah, you better watch what you say because you're on camera now. Did you check the white balance on that thing? It's all goofy in here. Yeah, you look you look pretty orange pretty, and red. Yeah. That's what I figured. Oh well, I can fix it later. Alright, here do it like this. This is white, so I can white balance on this later with final cut. Here's to my coffee. Good delicious coffee drink. I can't tell if you're enjoying the coffee or if you just let out a fart. It's <laughs> We're not at <laughs> Elbies. Then turn left on West 1100 South. Mike tried to find Dumpies? No, I told it Golden Spike National Historic Site. Oh. It smells like someone farted. Yeah, I uh... It smells it, worse It than smells that. like livestock farts. It smells like roadkill. I but I don't understand. They worked really hard to build this railroad and it was difficult for them to get everything out here. And I don't understand because the roads are perfectly good. Why couldn't they just take a low boy and bring the equipment out? <laughs> I don't know, I Gary. wonder. Yeah, the roads are nice and flat. I believe I, you've just asked one of those timeless questions. Why did they even need to build the railroad with roads like know. this? You don't need anything. They had perfectly good roads. Yeah. Wagons could get going real fast on this thing. Guess what this is? This is the track. And that's the buildings probably right there, huh? Doesn't that yeah, look like a visitor center? That's a visitor center, yeah. So this is our, our place here. We'll arrive at Golden Spike National Historic Site, 6200 North, 22,300 Street West, Corinne. 22,300 Street? Wow, there's a lot of streets out here. Yeah, there's no one here. Oh, next. Boy, this is, this is exciting. Yep. It's a nice building. I sure hope they're running something today. They said they were. They said they were going to run it Auto to Columbus tour. Day there weekend. I even checked the schedule. Hey buddy, you need a ride? You wanna drive down the track? <laughs> no, he's not awake. Hello, you've reached Hunter Lowe. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get to spot right now, but if you leave your name, number, and a brief message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Hi, Hi Hunter! Hunter. So we made it here to the Golden Spike National Historic Site. It's a national park, and this is the visitor center. We're not going to look over there with the camera, but if you look that way, you can see smoke rising in the distance where they're starting up the engines today. So this is really what we came here for. It's kind of the mecca for rail foamers. <laughs> and. I guess I'll give you my impressions walking around this place. If I see anything that moves me to say something, well, I'll come on and share that with you. It all had to go by ship. Where is it? Spike, they actually had around 150 locomotives in service, and all of those locomotives had spent four to six months at sea going around South America before they could be used by the Central Pacific. A lot of work, a lot of shipping costs associated with that company. You can hear some more whistles as it approaches the station here.
And it's a pretty great smell that comes off the Jupiter. Nothing like a wood-burning locomotive. Now, if you notice, our locomotive has both a bell and a whistle on it. Now, back in the 19th century in Europe, locomotives didn't have to have both. It just had to have one or the other. But here in America, we like to be loud, so we put both on our locomotives. So, with, that caused some confusion when we would order locomotives from, say, Great Britain, because they would say, would you like a bell or a whistle installed on your locomotive? And we would say, no, we want all the bells and whistles, which is where the term comes from. You're going to hear some more whistles as it comes up next to that switch. <laughs> Jupiter. Woo! We didn't really have to chase it. Chasing trains. So we're in the museum here at Promontory. And you can see they have these displays showing the kinds of ties they were using, stuff like that. And they have some exhibits on this side that have a bunch of neat artifacts and such. Behind the camera, there's a room where they play a movie, which I haven't watched yet. But this is a neat place that, even as remote as it is, seems like it would be a good place, if you happen to be in Salt Lake City or something, to take a ride out here and see what they offer, because there's actually quite a bit here.
Okay, so we've effectively exhausted what we can look at here at Promontory, I think. So we're gonna, we're waiting for Mike now. He'll get in here soon and we'll probably head back toward where we came from and see if we can hook up with these guys and do some chasing trains out on the main line. This is another one of those times when you never know who you're gonna run into. Yeah, that's true. You, yeah. Might, you might remember Josh and Alvin from the Golden Spike Model, model train, train, train Club, club of, Utah. of Utah in uh, Salt Lake City in the Salt Lake City program that came out a while back. But you don't know this, Josh. Hi, Josh. Hello. This is Josh, one of our special needs kids. Indeed. And he comes with us all the time. Awesome. Yes, and I was excited for today. Excellent. Here's something I didn't know about. They're rest restoring a, a steam engine. And is it inside the shop there, Alvin, where they're restoring yeah. it? Yeah. Restoring a steam engine here in, in the shop. Yeah, 223 Restoration Shop. It says right there. So next year, everybody and their mother knows about this, but uh, the 844 and the big boy are supposed to be here next year for the 150th anniversary of the driving the Golden Spike. And since the original line to Promontory doesn't connect to a main line anymore, uh, then this is the closest meeting place. And it's it also helps that this is a museum here at Ogden, the Union Station, so they have a place they can just park the locomotives. What is it, May 10th or thereabouts? This very track that you're looking at here in the foreground is where the 844, at least probably the 844, that's the question mark is the 4014, right? Because it's not done yet. No. 844 already runs. More than likely so. it'll be ready because they're almost to the reassembly phase of the project at this point. Yeah. Uh, and once they get to the point where everything goes back together, it's plain and simple. Yep. I and mean, these guys have been doing this for years. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, the big boy actually was here when it moved uh, from the Pomona Fairgrounds back in 2014. It was actually parked here on its way to Cheyenne. Uh, so it'll get to come back again under its own power. Yeah. Someday. If not May 10th, it'll be pretty shortly after it, that. It'll happen eventually. We just don't know for sure about May 10th. Yeah. Well, that's the thing about steam locomotives is that you can't always predict when they're going to be operational. They are they tend to be unreliable like that. Uh, if you keep them in good working order, then they do better. But this engine hasn't run in a long time, the UP4014, so there's no guarantees any which way you go about it. But it'll, I'm pretty sure that it'll be done by the time that this event happens. But don't quote me on it because I'm not working on the thing. Uh, <laughs> So hate mail should not be directed to Mike this time. <laughs> There's the sister of the 844, pretty cool. 6916 is a, a DD uh, A40X. Don't see those every day. Last time I saw one of those was in Portola. There's a Rio Grande. Someone was talking about, I think Josh was talking about this being the only Rio Grande unit that never got patched for UP or something like that. SP7457 is a tunnel motor. And then 26 over there, of course, is a GTEL uh, turbine. So, cool stuff. This is the inside of Ogden Union Station. Still have your mural. And look at this architecture. Look at those beams. That is just massive. It's really big. Alright, so we're doing a little bit of a chase here. We're going out to some place called Weber Canyon. Where one of the Joshes said we can see some trains. So, buckle up. You got my stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you can see me. <laughs> it's the breakfast of champions. We gotta get some, some stuff to what go is this? the cool we ranch, cool ranch and some frosted some donuts. donuts. That's the breakfast of champions. You just put that in a bowl and eat it. And My you got uncle some... did that. <laughs> For real? Time. Yeah, I know. We got this super dope donut place down in Salt Lake. Yeah, check it out. But he. With the donuts get stale and you throw it in his... What's the drink of choice though? Oh, we What's got Diet Dr. Pepper mixed with Coke. 
Diet Dr. Coker. Yep, that's it. It's best with Coke Zero, but we didn't have that option. Uh, Mike's getting the Breakfast of Champions, too. So we're following Alvin and the Joshes in the car there. And you know, when you're following people, you really have to try to stay behind them. So there's been a couple of near misses with some other cars that were driving a little reckless. And they got very angry with us, I'm pretty sure. But we're okay though, because we have Arizona plates, so we're giving the Arizona people a bad name. That is correct. And that's right? why I'm driving this way too. I don't want the Arizona people to get off, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, to skate or anything. They have to be recognized as bad drivers. Yeah. Did you ask for the Arizona plates when you went to rent the car? I did. Special. I did. Special plates? Did they charge so, extra for that? Yeah. I said, give me Arizona plates. I'm going to work them over this weekend. <laughs> it was reclined. Setting up. Smile! We're showing Alvin how it works. <laughs> what are we doing? We're chasing trains. Yeah, we're chasing trains. This is my first experience out in the wilderness, in the wild, chasing trains. It looks pretty wild. We're in the canyon. Yeah. I got my dope shades. There you go. He's and dope. your snacks? And my snacks? Well, they're all gone now. Snacks are in storage. All right. Let's hope we catch That's something. Let's process. catch something. Yeah. The snacks are being processed. What's this place that we came to? So we came to uh, Weber Canyon. We. This is Weber Canyon too. Weber Canyon. Uh, I don't know the exact spot we're at, but it is off of I-84. Um, next to some bridges. Yes. Yes. And then we got the interstate right behind us. Yeah, I can hear the traffic all the time. Yeah. I heard a cow truck go by and I heard the cow moo. That was kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Ken, you're on Chasing Trains. What do you got to say to the Chasing Trains people? I love Chasing Trains. Just keep those railroad cops away from us. <laughs> keep the railroad cops away from us. <laughs> well, hello from Utah. We're out here fangirling. That's you know, right. Yeah. You're fangirling. You're on your own. Alvin's your biggest fangirl. Fangirl. Alvin, fangirl. Alvin says he's your biggest fangirl. <laughs> Alvin's your biggest fangirl. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> He's modeling the new TSG shirt. <laughs> well, hey, turn her, turn, 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 turn her out so he, Yeah, look at this guy. <laughs> oh, we need a fan or something to blow Just, blow his hair around. There you go. Now this is creepy. <laughs> and that's nasty. Oh, <laughs> and that's weird. I promise I'm not drunk. Are you sure you're acting like you're drunk? Yeah, you're right? <laughs> I need a, oh God. Okay, I need a shot of you looking, you facing that way. That looks now, weird. Now look yeah, over your look shoulder. Over shoulder. Now yeah. flip your hair. No, I think you're <laughs> <there. laughs> How come you guys are the only ones laughing? I'm not. <laughs> I feel like I'm that. sick to my stomach with this. <laughs> I'm gonna gag in a minute. <laughs> oh, God. How is oh, this? Okay. How is this you were laughing so hard? <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. That was great. Well, I would probably pick that one. Are you taking pictures of Fabio while he's peeing yeah. out there? Yeah. Okay, that's nasty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna gag now he's again. He's in the bush, man. A real bush. gag. Sit I'm doing a real gag now. Please. I can't see anything? He's in the bush.
return to Fabio. <laughs> Yeah. You feel better, Fabio? Fabio yeah, on TXT Media. Yeah, it's right there, and you missed an NS. It had an NS unit in the front. That. Did you see that? Did you? But I you were peeing in the tree. <laughs> Everything came out okay. That's uh, that's what matters. Rip Van Winkle is approaching. Right, okay, let's find out what oh. Rip Van Winkle has to say. Actually, I did not know. Well, you look well rested there. You look like a lumberjack. You look like a lumberjack. It's got that beardy lumberjack thing yeah. going. Is it itchy yet? It's always itchy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say for one thing, you missed some trains going by. Yeah. I only heard one. What you missed. You, that, you missed, missed one that had a Norfolk Southern. No, I saw it. Did you see it from where, from your sleeping oh, yeah, he position? Also that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and that was funny. Yeah, I had a front row seat. You did, and it was probably warm where you were. Yep. Yay. Was just great? Yeah. All that modeling made him tired. Fabio, dude. I was trying to Fabio. Sit, let me sit down. That's all. That's right. Just just Fabio. Chill. You know, just chill. Just chill. Just chill. <laughs> this is what it's like chasing trains with us. You never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> are you being a peanut gallery, Gary? Yeah, what are you I'm doing? A peanut gallery. <laughs> Mr. Peanut. <laughs> Mr. Peanut. <laughs> and there's your nickname. <laughs> yeah. I just woke up, so. Did you have any dreams of trains? No. Well, I don't know if you're going to see this, but as is always the case, as soon as we leave from a place, trains start coming. And we just saw one that would have been to where we were within probably another 10 minutes. And here's the uh, second one that would have been there shortly after probably within the next five or ten minutes after and to make matters even funnier or more it's ironic it is a manifest to make uh, matters even funnier the light for the opposite direction which is westbound came on too so we probably are missing three trains that would have come through within the next 20 to 30 minutes there it is see it up there so, but you know, you get used to that when you do this enough and you don't worry about it because there's always another train, especially on a line like this. Hey man. Hey man, how's the slices? They're good, man. Did you get some ranch though? We had some ranch, man. You gotta get the ranch, bro. <laughs> you gotta send it. <laughs> Advice from Fabio. That's all you can say though, we're, we're here discussing very important Just topics. Send it, bro. We'll send it. We're, we're, we're eating now, in case you didn't figure it out. Yeah. Discuss, discussing very important topics, and Josh told me something I thought was was worth repeating. Trains and beer. We're working on trains and drinking beer. Is that it? That's what I enjoy to do in installing the coders. Trains? Trains and beer. Switching and shipping. Trains? Yeah. Switching and shipping? Is that what you said? <laughs> no. We're getting all kinds of wisdom today. Party on, Garth. <laughs> Party on, Wayne. <laughs> Wait, this is the guy with the Metallica shirt. <laughs> I forgot, to, I forgot to mention that. No, can't forget that. <laughs> Don't forget to pay attention to the signals. Don't blow signals. No, the real, the real trick is don't go pee when the train's coming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what John's doing back there. He's got this goofy smile on his face. Uh, I didn't even drink any beer. But he did have some coffee. No, that he was didn't. a long time ago. Yeah, he, he, he had some 40, coffee this morning. He didn't have any at 12, dinner. 14 hours ago. I don't think he wore off when I peed about 12 hours ago. I don't think he needs any more coffee. But uh, what are your thoughts on today? How did you like it? Yeah, uh, that was good. Uh, Mike had fun. Um, Gary had fun. Uh, well, Gary hasn't told us yet. We don't know. He, he could have hated you, it. You yeah. could ask him, but he won't tell you. He's driving. He's too busy driving. Mm -hmm. And don't great. and don't great show. don't distract him. Yeah, really. And I'm no? top secret. Okay, Dennis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So
<laughs> You're not really sure then. I thought it was good. I I liked, despite the fact that it wasn't what I expected, I still liked Promontory. I, I did not get the sense of history that I thought I would get. I think because it's more of a tourist thing now than maybe what it was 30 or 40 years ago. Well, it's kind of like Yosemite where there's thousands of tourists that go there every year. Yeah, but... and you kind of, I kind of get that impression from it, but I still liked it. I, I really like the, the level of care that they seem to take with their equipment there, the two, the two locomotives. And I don't remember having seen locomotives that bright brightly colored, bright painted before. So I like that part. I mean, actually that and run. Shiny, I think that it would be really extra cool if they were to be able to create more of a track out there and run those trains and give people like historical interpretation rides on them. <coughs> so, you, yeah. for example, you could run on the UP line and get all the UP stuff, or you could run west on the CP line and get all the CP stuff. That would be really cool. Mm-hmm. So that's what I think. And then going to chase trains with these other guys, we didn't really do a whole lot of chasing, actual, you know, physically chasing the trains, but we did enough and had I had a great time just joking with these guys. And it was the really Union funny. Station. And to see that to see the museum was pretty cool. So it was good. Yeah, no complaints. I thought the museum was uh, much more than what I expected. I thought it was uh, really good. Uh, representation of um, displays not a lot of equipment uh, big equipment I mean outside yeah there were the locomotives and everything but but uh, inside I thought the displays were very good I thought it was yeah. well, well presented and it wasn't expensive either yeah yeah all that for seven dollars yeah it's not your traditional railroad museum but I really liked it I've been wanted to see those engines since I was probably f five or six years old my mom used to read me a story called the journey of the Jupiter uh, so I've, I've been wanting to see those for a long time uh, and I'm, I was not disappointed I'm glad that it, it <sighs> kids in the back but and anyway I uh, I'm glad that it didn't rain out on us this weekend because I was considering not going because I didn't think it would be worth trying to get pictures but didn't, that did not happen, and I was very happy to go, and we're going to go again tomorrow morning. And I think that's where we will end it tonight. What's John doing? Okay. Want to be a child? Then we'll be a child. We're going to just cut it right here and go home. <laughs>